Good morning. This is going to sound like a sad post, but it's not. It's actually a joyful post. Tomorrow uh, is the fourth anniversary of my mother's passing. She died on August 31st, 2016. And typically it's a hard day for me, but I've decided to do something else entirely. I'm spending my time honoring her existence instead of mourning her passing. Uh, so you know what I did? I got up, I put on a dress, because she always liked me to be more feminine. I spent a little, time with, little more time with my hair. I didn't conquer the whole thing, but I do look better. My mother used to always be distressed about my lack of interest in my personal appearance. She one time said I was going out, I don't know what I was doing, and something. She looked at me, she said, baby, if I didn't love you, I'd let you go out looking like that. But as it is, you got to turn around and go change your clothes. She was, and my mother never missed words. So this morning I put on a dress. Before I put on the dress, I started cleaning out the refrigerator because my mother was distressed by my, the absence of my domestic skills. I still don't have very many, but, but today I'm going to spend a whole day doing stuff she would have liked me to do. Ole, that's the job. And that, that's, that's me taking her, holding her hand up in heaven and saying, hey, look what you did. Look what you did. My mother's most extraordinary person I ever met, bar none. Uh, she was uh, an emotional genius. And that, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, is the most important part about her. If you look around yourself today, you know, I'm always talking about being emotionally intelligent and, 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 and uh, separating how you feel from what you need to do and understanding how you feel. And I think it is so critical these days, just absolutely critical, because we're all very emotional, men and women alike. You know, I'll sit and cry. Big E will <clears throat> act. But we're both emotional. We're responding differently. All I'm saying is this. Let's decompress before we address so we know that our actions are a function of fact and need and not simply an exercise in emotionality. Think about being two. When you're two, you do not have the capacity to do that. You feel and then you share. Let's feel, think, and do. Let's feel, think, and do in that order with that emphasis. I've said it a million times. I'm saying it again. My guide for being emotionally intelligent, I reread this book on my mother's birthday and the day of her passing. She, this is it. It's called My Mother's Rules. I wrote it in 2007, and I wrote a passage in it in where I said, I say that teaching people the deliberate and purposeful development of emotional skills is as important as teaching them to read. It is, because people, people, ah, people feel, 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 do, then they give you a rational explanation later. I learned that on the bench. But let me tell you something. I'm a happy girl today. All of the best stuff in my mother is going to live and breathe and, and be in me. I am, however, going to take off this dress right after I get out of here because ain't no way in the world I'm going to wear a white dress all along all day. I'll have everything in the, in the world on it, and I've got to clean out the refrigerator, and it's all cool and it's all good. But I want you to have a good day. Take what you know. Understand how you feel. And get out there and try not to act a fool. It's always good advice. See, today, I'm going to try not to act a fool. Join me. Happy Sunday.